It's Demo Donna here with Queen and & Company and I am going to be using the Heart Shaped Shaker Kit. There are four different adorable shakers with this kit and you get an amazing stamp set. I just love it. You also get your foam and acetate refills to create three of each shaker design. So really cute. I am also going to be showing you in this video how to create your very own card bases using Queen & Company's awesome foundation dies. So you can see you can create all sorts of different size card bases with this simple little trick that I'm going to show you, as well as putting together some of these really fun cards. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy this video. To create your card base using your slimline die from slimline dies number two, what you're going to need to do is take a piece of cardstock. This is 65 pound and you are just going to go ahead and score it down the middle. If you don't have a scoreboard, you can just fold it in half. When you run it through the die machine, that's going to add extra pressure and give it a really nice fold. So as you know, when you score it, it just makes it so it doesn't have those little wrinkles for when you fold it. So I've gone ahead and folded a piece of my eight and a half by 11 cardstock vertically long ways. And now I'm going to take my die cut machine and I am using my smaller one just so I could fit it in the camera. So therefore I'm going to have to run it through twice. But if you have a larger one where you fit the entire slim line die on your plate, then you can obviously just run it through one time. All right, so I'm gonna take a little bit of washi tape. I definitely recommend washi tape so your card base is nice and even. If you don't have washi tape, you can use a removable tape. Like this is a nice and simple removable tape. What I'm gonna do here, and this is the same basic concept for creating cards out of all of your dies, is you just make sure that on the fold line, you are not cutting through it. So I've got the cut above the fold line. So I am simply just using that as my guide and my fold line is hanging over. I'm gonna apply my washi tape, some right up here, and then I'm gonna do the same thing down on this end. And I'm just putting a little bit of washi tape on my die and then on the paper, not on the actual cardstock that I'm cutting out. So it's on the cut out of the actual cardstock. And then as I flip it over, you can see that top cut is not gonna cut through the fold. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and run that through my die cut machine twice. Send it through about halfway, and then I'm gonna pull that out, and then I'm gonna do that again for the other side. Send that through about halfway, pull it out, just like that, you now have a really great slimline card base with rounded edges. I'm now going to show you the same technique using foundation die number 10. I'm going to speed it up since you just saw the entire thing with the slimline. But again, the most important thing is making sure your cut lines are not going to cut through the fold. So my fold is right here. And then I'm going to make sure that I have that lined up right about there. And then I can go ahead and place my washi tape on the top and on the bottom. I could flip it over one more time to just make sure that that's not cutting through anywhere and I'm good to go. And just like that, I now have a really cute card base with the really fun scalloped edges. 
And that is from foundation die number 10. And last but not least, I just wanted to do one using the outline die from the Heart Shape Shaker. And I'm gonna just go ahead and use the leftover from my paper here that's already folded. So I am simply going to take a little piece of washi tape and I'm just gonna add maybe like an eighth of an inch of my heart flapped over right there. And I'm gonna just throw that little washi tape right there so it stays in place. There we go. And this is gonna be really fun for creating little Valentines at home. If you have a little one still in elementary school that exchanges these, or you're doing a nice little Galentine party, this would be really cute. You can also stick this on an actual card front. So you can have a little opened heart card front, and then they open their actual card. So layer these up, have a lot of fun with them. But Foundation die number four is another fabulous scalloped edge foundation die and is going to make for the perfect card base. I love it. How great is that? What a fun, simple card base. Really great for Valentine's Day, adding that extra little romantic detail to all of your cards. Now, something else to keep in mind is you can do these the actual size. So this is from foundation die six with these nice round edges and foundation die 14, which has this fun banner edge. And I can have these be the normal size or I can make them a little bit smaller. So that is something else that you can absolutely play with when you are creating your card bases or add-ons to your cards using your foundation die card base technique. Now here is a sample of how simple it is to just adjust the size of your card by just moving that cut line a little further away from the fold line. So here is the original ones that I had done with the original size. So you can see how big that is in comparison. So let me run this through and I will show you the difference. And here are those two smaller versions from the original larger one. So you could see I went an inch and a quarter. I cut an inch and a quarter off of the paper for this middle size. And then I did another inch and a quarter off again. So that is two and a half inches off. So as you can see, the fold is here. And now I'm gonna run these through. And now you can see I've got this third little card. And now how fun, you can get all different sizes from the same one die. You can even create a fun little book. So just wanted to show you this really simple technique once you play around and figure out the basics, you can really get creative and do lots of different sizes, just like I've shown you here, and layer them all up. So here is the smallest of the versions here. So this is from Foundation Die 6. The one with this great little edge here is from Foundation Die 14. So there you have it. Now that you have all of your fabulous card bases, I am going to take my slimline card base because we are gonna be making a slimline card in this video. And I am gonna show you how you can alter your six by six, all of your six by six paper pads to be six by 12. So just go ahead and start with a sheet of your six by six. So I'm gonna take this stripe one here and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it right in the middle. And then what you have is two, three by six. Now, because I'm going to have my stripes going vertically in my card, I am just going to go ahead and make this my center, the two pink ones. All right, and I'm just gonna take some clear gift wrapping tape and by holding these two together and applying some pressure, I am now gonna put my clear tape in the center there. And now I have one 
perfect sheet of 12 inches long. So I am gonna go ahead and center my die. So this right here is where my two pieces are taped together. So I'm using that as my center point. And then as you can see, I've got the pinks on the dark pinks on both sides. So I'm just making sure my die is nice and even before I run that through. And then what you have is a perfect die and you can't even tell that is two pieces of paper taped together. So I'm gonna go ahead and adhere that to the card base that we created. Foundation, the Slimline Foundation die number two is I just cut out a white cardstock to go ahead and layer that right in the center there. Okay, and now we have the base for our Valentine card. So using the brand new foundation die, the Love Foundation die, I went ahead and cut out these two adorable pink border hearts. And we are gonna use those coming in from the end on both sides. So I cut two out and I'm using the Happy Hello Solids. And I went ahead and cut those out. And next what I'm gonna do is take one of my shaped shakers that I created and I sped it up. Here are all the shakers that I use on the three cards that I demonstrate for you. So you could see a really quick version of me putting all of them together and a closer up when I create each of the cards. And this is from the Shape Shakers Heart Kit, which is just adorable. And I'm using the brand new Heart Kisses, which I really love. I used them last week outside of the shaker. So this week they are inside of my shaker. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna be trimming down this border. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay my little heart borders and I'm gonna see how much I need to trim down. So I'm gonna wanna take three off the top and two off, three off the bottom and two off the top. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut two off here and three off here. And I'm gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of sheer glue to adhere those to the top and the bottom. Now that I've got my two heart borders, I'm just gonna set my shaker just right on top as a little bit of a placeholder. And I am gonna be using some hearts from the, and I'm just kind of gonna place some stuff right here. These are the hearts from our Love Foundation die. And then something that I absolutely love about this heart shaker kit is it comes with these three little heart stamps. And they are separate, which is great. And what I did here is I just placed them on the top of three of my little shaker topping jars. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and do a couple test stamps. So therefore I know the amount of pressure I need to apply. I can get a sense for how to stamp those out. So now I've got a nice little heart. So I'm just gonna add a few little hearts. And you can see how really fun it is. And those will work great with all of your little Valentine shaker sets and even your love foundation set. So now that I've got my hearts added, and I was saying you can see how great and simple it is just to add a couple little heart stamps. Now we're gonna go ahead and place our shaker down. So I've got a little piece of red liner tape here left over. So we're gonna stick that down first. And then I'm gonna add a little sheer glue. There we go. And now I've got these two hearts that we need to add. Just and I also wanted to add some of these teeny tiny pink hearts. And these are from your epoxy heart stickers. 
Okay, and last but not least, we are just gonna go ahead and add our sending hugs. And this cute little banner, banner is from foundation dye number seven. And I went ahead and cut that out using just some white cardstock. And I'm gonna just add some rolly adhesive. We are just gonna layer that down right here our little sending hugs banner. And just a little quick note, as you could see, I curved. So I laid the saying down and then I just curved up one end and curved the, I curved down this end and curved up the other end to match the curvature of the banner. So that is a really fun thing that you can do. I'm gonna just pop up the ends there, add just another little epoxy heart this is the time of year you can go heart crazy. The last thing I wanted to do was just add a couple of these are from the rhinestone trio and these are just the regular clear rhinestones and I just wanted to add a couple little bits of sparkle. Yay, there we go. A simple little Valentine we are going to create. So I created this card base using foundation dye number 10 and really cute and simple. And then I am going to take as my background from the brand new love foundation dye and I am just going to adhere this using a little bit of sheer glue. All right, such a fun, cute background. And you can do this in all sorts of different color combinations, yellow on yellow, pink on pink. And I am going to be using the shaker that I created with the beautiful posy toppings using the floral paper out of the Happy Hello. And I am gonna stick a little sheer glue on the back of my shaker. This is red liner tape. I'm gonna put some red liner tape down and then add a little sheer glue just to make sure this guy is gonna stay on our cute little card front. And I am just going to go right about there. There we go. Push them down. And now I've got my heart shaker right on the top of my cute little Valentine there. I'm gonna take this teeny adorable yellow heart and this is from the love foundation and I am just going to add it right there because it's so cute I had to throw a little extra yellow on there and then I went ahead and cut out just a couple little pieces to drop in here and I left them on my plate just so I didn't lose where they went so this one here goes right up top. So I'm just gonna add a little dot of my sheer glue and then place that heart right in there. And that's just to add a couple little pops of the cute flower paper. And now my simple little Valentine shaker with a custom card background is complete. All right, for the last one that I am gonna create for you, I am gonna be using the base of foundation dye number four. So that is this card base. I also went ahead and cut out of foundation dye number 11, the polka dot pattern paper, and then a piece of white cardstock also from foundation dye number 11. And then I cut out that striped banner because I'm gonna be using my striped heart. So I'm gonna use that as an added element to pull those stripes in. And we are gonna go ahead and assemble all of this. There we go. So I really wanted to showcase that beautiful circle background. It's so pretty, so much color. So I didn't wanna use anything too small, but yet I wanted a nice white background so my striped heart doesn't really compete with those circles. And now I'm gonna add a little bit of red liner tape and sheer glue to the back of my shaker. And inside of my shaker, I have the brand new 
really beautiful sea glass toppings, as well as some of my, I did a little combination and then also added some of the heart toppings. So really fun. All right, once you have your heart shaker down, go ahead and apply your banner. And I curled up the ends just by applying a little pressure. And I'm gonna put that right, right about there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add my cute little heart. And just to finish it off, I am gonna just add a couple of gloobers. And to do that, I am going to just peel the clear plastic back. I'm gonna pop on my adorable little bobbles. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is just add a cute little heart epoxy right there. And now my really fun and colorful Valentine with a custom card base is complete. So here are the three cards that we created in this video, all with custom made card bases. So I hope you enjoyed all of these tips and tricks and techniques. Thank you so much for watching and have a fabulous rest of your week. Bye-bye.